Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a steam effect on top of a hot beverage in a static image or video shot in DaVinci Resolve 17. Inside your edit window, hold Ctrl and press I to insert a static image or video shot of your choice. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside your Media Pool Master Bin, find the thumbnail of the static shot that you have inserted. Click and drag this to the start of your edits timeline. Use the selection mode tool to click and drag from the end of the edit if you wish to change the duration of this particular clip. If I click and drag my red playhead to the end of this edit, by default this particular clip will play for 5 seconds in my video. Go to effects library. Underneath Toolbox, select Effects, and go to find Fusion Composition. Click and drag one of these to Video Track 2, directly above the image or video shot that you have inserted to your edits timeline. Right click on your Fusion Composition, and go to Open in Fusion Page. Inside your Nodes panel, hold Shift and press Space, to open up the Select Tool window. Use the search box at the bottom to find the ellipse tool with the circular icon. Select this tool and go to click on add. The ellipse tool will form part of the steam shape that we will create in this particular tutorial. Hold shift and press space again and go to select a background node. Add this. Click on the small grey box of ellipse 1 and drag your mouse cursor to the blue effect mask arrow to the left of background 1 to make a connection. The background node will enable us to change the colour of our steam. Hold shift and press space again. And go to insert a P emitter tool. In order to connect background 1 to this P emitter node, ensure that P emitter is first selected. Go to inspector. Go to style and change style from point to bitmap. A yellow arrow should now appear to the left of P emitter 1. Connect background 1 to this. With P emitter 1 selected, hold shift and press space again. And go to insert a P directional force tool. This will enable us to control the direction in which the steam flows. With P Directional Force selected, hold Shift and press Space. And go to add P Turbulence, which is another tool which will help us determine the direction in which the steam flows. And to ensure that these particle effects are processed in your final video, with P Turbulence selected, hold Shift and press Space again. Go to add the P Render tool. Connect this to Media Out 1. You should now see a preview screen appearing above your nodes panel, illustrating the particle effect of your video. If you don't, lift click in one of the circles below Media Out 1 to make a preview window appear. Go to Ellipse 1. You may wish to use different values for the variables illustrated throughout the rest of this tutorial, depending on the still image or video that you have chosen for this project. Underneath Controls in Inspector, Change width and height to 0.04. Go to background. Underneath color in inspector, double click on the color box underneath background. And type in the following hexadecimal code in HTML to get the gray steam color shade. Hashtag D0, D0, D0. Click OK. Returning to your edit window, at present the particles are emitting from outside the cup and the width of the particle source is not big enough to cover the whole coffee inside the cup. To adjust this, go to click on the Fusion Composition Edit, go to Inspector. To shift these particles sideways, I will adjust position X. Increase this value to shift the particles to the right or decrease this value to shift the particle source to the left side depending on where your hot drink or food is. In this example, I will increase position X to 306 so that the particles are positioned in the middle of the coffee. 
and to shift the particles down slightly so that they cover the bottom side of the coffee, I will change position Y to minus 75. Particles are only emitting from the centre of the coffee. In order to cover the whole width of this drink, go to zoom X and Y. Click on the link between these two variables so that this no longer appears in white and that both X and Y variables can be individually adjusted without affecting the other. To ensure that the particles cover a wider area inside the coffee cup, I will increase zoom X to two. Now to create the steam look and ensure that the particles are floating upwards. It is important that the particles are floating towards and away from the viewer and not directly upwards so that the steam effect complements the high angled shot in which the coffee cup was pictured. Having the particles float upwards only would spoil the illusion. Right click on your fusion composition clip and go to open in fusion page. Select ellipse one again. Go back to inspector and underneath controls change soft edge to 0.2. This should add a blur effect to your steam particles. Go to P emitter 1. The next step would be to ensure that the steam doesn't travel too far across your canvas and to make these particles fade away before they get too far from the coffee cup as they do naturally. Under inspector and controls, reduce lifespan to 80. Again, if you feel that in your final video, the steam particles move too far away from your coffee cup before disappearing, you can reduce this value further. Now go to style. Go to fade controls, change fade in to 0.01 so that there is a slight fade transition as the steam particles appear on your drink or food. And to have the steam particles fade away once they are halfway through their lifespan, decrease out to 0.5. Go to P directional force. To ensure that these particles float gently upwards, decrease strength to minus 0.006. Go to P Turbulence. To create the effect that the steam is moving away and towards the viewer slightly, increase Z Strength to 0.2. Return to your Edit window. To add transparency to your steam, select the Fusion Composition Edit. Under Inspector and Video and Composite, change Opacity to 40. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care. I could do with a cup of coffee now.